Welcome back everyone. Today is the winter solstice, which means it will be the shortest day in terms of sunlight. And it also means it's the first day of winter. Christmas just a few days away. It is uh, definitely starting to feel like it, at least for today. Meteorologist Zach Scott has all the details telling us uh, by the time Christmas Day comes, yeah. it's going to feel more like summertime. It feels like winter at least for not today, but at least for this morning. Can we say that? Right. that? That's really a little bit more realistic of our weather here in Central Texas. We've got freezing temperatures out there this morning, but we're looking at 60s taking over. 60s aren't bad this time of year. You probably think, you know, hey, it's not that far above or outside the realm of feeling like winter. It's it's close, but it is above our seasonal average. We should be closer to 59 uh, for today, so we are looking to be above that. Uh, but again, 60s Christmas uh, nearby in your central Texas. You're probably thinking, yeah, that seems pretty normal. Doesn't uh, seem normal when you start talking about 70s and 80s and breaking records on Christmas Day. Yeah, the record of 79, which has only been here since 2016. Uh, looks like it's going to have a good shot to get broken. As we get into Friday, Saturday, we're looking for 80s to build in, especially for areas near and west of I-35. Got a warmer west southwest wind building in some drier air will heat up more efficiently with sunshine in the afternoon and our western half of central Texas is going to have that drier air and that west wind in place. So definitely expecting 80s, even some upper 80s may try to mix in in our western half. Uh, the best chance to break the record the next several days is going to be Saturday. We could even uh, set another record as we get into Sunday. And unlike the last couple of weekends, no weekend cool down. The warm weather continues as we go through the holiday weekend into next week. All right, there you go. Live look downtown. Got some pretty colors on the horizon. We've got mostly clear skies across all of Central Texas in the Pratt Valley, but we're also dealing with a little bit of fog. You don't see any visibility issues downtown right now. 32 degrees. Look at the wind chill. This is why you want to bundle up. Hey, it feels like winter outside. There's a light breeze out there around Central Texas. It's only about three to eight, but it does make it feel a little cooler where it gets going. Um, all right, so we've got some fog. We've got dense fog that's developed in our northern and northeastern zones. Light fog is really uh, developed everywhere else a little bit with some pockets of dense fog mixed in. Mixed in. That's going to mix out by mid morning. We'll see most of the fog gone. Some of the dense areas take a little bit longer time, so I do think by late morning lunchtime, the fog's out of here. Visibility is where it's supposed to be, and we've got sunshine taking over. Upper 50s, low 60s for the eastern half, 545 down in the Brazos Valley, 60s for our western half, even some upper 60s out across our western and southwestern zones. Uh, coldest temperatures tomorrow should be across our western zones. Some drier air is going to cool a little more out there. Southerly flow starting to bring in more moisture. Doesn't cool as much overnight. We're going to start seeing 40s mix in, and our morning temperatures are going to be warming as well by Christmas morning morning. We'll see 50s and 60s around uh, Central Texas in the Brazos Valley, and we'll see temperatures getting into the 60s by mid morning, 70s near 80 by lunchtime. And again, I do expect temperatures to get into the 80s for Christmas Day. Most of the month again, 16 days above average, uh, two days average. We're around average or where we're supposed to be. Yesterday was one of them. Uh, anything within three degrees of the seasonal average is uh, constituted as a, a seasonal day. Uh, Saturday, the, the high was actually set around midnight and then we spent the majority of the day in the 50s. So I went ahead and called it what it is. It really was a below average day, even though in the records it's not going to go down like that. All right, so the next several days we're looking at above average temperature, 80, 90 percent chance, even as we look at the next six to 10 days that we have got temperatures way above the seasonal average of 59 degrees, uh, staying locked in pretty much for the rest of the month.